Maker's Place and all of the latest news from the NFT world, and there's plenty of it, all here on Nifty Show number 32. Looking into the future, what do we see? It's lined with digital collectibles, we call them NFTs. Games, trading cards, digital art, and those crypto kitties. Travis and Joel are the hosts you'll know. Travis and Joel say this won't blow. They're locked and loaded, so ready, set, go! It's the Nifty, really kind of spiffy, the Nifty Show. And thank you for joining us once again as we delve into the world of digital collectibles. I am not Travis Wright. I'm That's Joel true, Com. and I am not Joel Com. But you are Travis Wright, and I am Joel Com. That's true. That's how this show works. Then what is it, episode number thirty-two? Is that it? Three, two. Yeah, we had wow. we had um, number thirty of the Hero Report on Wednesday night. And we have 32 of uh, the Nifty show. You can kind of tell like when we really went down the NFT rabbit hole because we started doing those two things almost concurrently. And they're just kind of tracking. Yeah. Actually, the Nifty show was the very first show dedicated specifically to NFTs and digital collectibles. There was none other than ours first. We are the, we put our, we put our flag right there on the moon and, um, just want to let you know we kind of peed a circle around the NFT. Yeah, we did some territorial pissings. That's what we did. <laughs> Welcome to those of you watching on uh, the Bad Crypto YouTube channel, on the Facebook Mastermind page, on the Bad Crypto Twitter, and those of you on Theta TV. We love decentralized live video streaming. Glad to see you guys. Um, hard to keep up with the comments on the different channels. So typically what I do is I watch on the YouTubes to uh, see what people are saying there. And we would just ask that you would share that we're live and that things are happening here today because we have a great show for you, lots to talk about. And uh, we're going to get started right away with uh, a great friend of the show. He's a frequent guest because he's frequently trendsetting and in innovating and in leading the way. There is no one in the NFT space, who is doing a better job of pioneering the combination of digital collectibles and music video and gamification than Michael Blue, known as M Blue of Uplift.art. Welcome back to the show, friend. Hey, 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 thank you for having me and the wonderful introduction. Uh, I really liked the, uh, the, you peed a circle around the, uh, the, the NFT video space. Uh, hey, don't make was... a song out of that. We don't, we don't need that song out of it. <laughs> But we are waiting for the, a, for, on the moon. We are waiting for a, a nifty show uh, song. We, you know, I'd love to replace the one. The one we have is cute. It's a little jingle. You know, I hired a dude to, to do it for like, I don't know, 50 bucks or so. And then I made the video, but I can only imagine how epic a uh, uh, M blue intro to the nifty show would be. Mm. Well, we're going to have to work on, we're working one for Corey and I are working on one for uh, Ken Bozak. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty fun. Uh, your intro is, uh, it, it's, it's happy. It makes me smile. So, but I yeah, I think, we could, I think we could uh, grunge it up a notch. Maybe we need it. Maybe we need like a theme song for blockchain heroes though. Maybe that's what the in blue oh, can be. Blockchain that's... heroes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a Saturday morning cartoon type thing, you know? Oh yeah. That'd be awesome. Marshalls. Blockchain heroes. Pow, pow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, well, it's great to see you. Um, what is going on in your world? Because I know you you are cooking up another event. Well, you know, um, the world needs a little bit of love, right? I mean, we, we are at a very interesting uh, place right now, historically, uh, globally. And uh, looking at, at, at what's going on geopolitically and just, you know, every which way you look, it's weirdness, right? 2020 was weird. 2021 is weird. 2021 <laughs> is saying to 2020, hold my beer. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like six so, uh, days into it, like it was weird. Like, like, all right, welcome to 2021. Oh, wait, there's a dude with bull horns and like a weird buffalo head inside the cabin. What the hell? That was day six. Of two <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was time for some collectible love, right? I mean, doesn't that just sound like a thing? Collectible yes. love. Collectible love. <laughs> yeah, there's a song there too. That is really you know, good. We're gonna we're gonna take Hallmark over and just uh 
blockchain NFT it, baby. Mm-hmm. And we're starting that with series one, uh, the 13th, it's 24 hour drop, collectible love series one. But uh, this is going to be a thing. I feel it. And uh, we're excited. Um, but the greatest love story ever told is an NFT on the blockchain. Uh, my beautiful Italian wife, Francesca, who's a poet, and she wrote a book called Tiamo, Another Way to Say I Love You. We've put her beautiful voice and poetry on the blockchain, uh, put a, uh, a song called Marry Me Girl uh, that is a, a testament to my love to her and asking her to marry me on the blockchain. So this is our first series one collectible love drop. And uh, 50% of the proceeds, like everything we do, goes to our, our charitable cause. Right now, we're focused on building a school in Haiti. In fact, it'll be Haitian Roots' third school uh, to be built in Haiti. Uh, they do a m- magnificent job. And it's a uh, first through 12th um, grade school. We're going to have 12 classrooms. So um, everybody that, every, I say, whale that uh, pays $20,000 or more for a low mint NFT will get their name on a classroom and the highest payer of the year will get their name on the school. So uh, we're, we're charging at this full, full guns blazing, baby. We're going to do this. Nice. So, so basically it's going to be called the blue wizard school. Is that what you're saying? That would be, <laughs> hey, I'd be happy to put the blue wizard on that school. You know, See, God bless ask, I mean, like, I, where do you go to school? I go to school at the blue wizard school. Yeah. Yeah. It's like nice. Hogwarts, right? Yeah. I'm going to pull up your website here. If you guys have not yet visited, this should be one that you've got bookmarked on your uh, your browser. It's uplift.art. And you can see here the next main event, Tiamo Valentine's Day, February 13th at 12 p.m. Eastern. And uh, you can get your art. You'll be able to get it right here while it's loading up. There we go. Coming soon. Collectible love. I'm going to, I'm going to play just a teaser bit of this right here, okay? Keep one, share one, burn one. Tiamo Collectible Love. What is it? Uplift Art is a philanthropic technology company that is leveraging blockchain and original art to uplift communities globally. 2021 is our goal to build a school in Haiti with half of our revenue going directly to this cause. On February 13th begins our 24-hour Fragments of Love United auction sales event. The theme is Tiamo, which is the romantic way to say, I love you in Italian. And we have put the greatest love story ever told on the blockchain in order to inspire an eruption of romance around the world. We put this original art and music on the blockchain, which makes it provably authentic, limited, and liquid, which means you can buy, sell, trade, or exchange your verified collectible love any hour of any day. Now, how does it work? First off, pay what you wish because the highest payer of the event wins the one-of-one Tiamo Collector's Edition. The event begins 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 13th and concludes 24 hours later on Valentine's Day. The 24-hour event will be comprised of 12 two-hour mini events where there will be a new fragment of love offered for sale. If you acquire all 12 fragments, there is a mechanism via uplift.art to combine those fragments through a burn upgrade mechanic to where you will receive the Fragments of Love United piece, which is the full-length Marry Me Girl NFT music video. The first participants to burn upgrade their 12 fragments will get the lowest mint numbers because they are minted on demand. Again, the highest pair of the event, whether you bought just one fragment or you bought all 12, will win the one of one Tiamo NFT Collector's Edition. While the top 21 pairs of the event will win the Greatest Love Story Special Edition Limited to only 21, and it will be given an order to the highest pair on down. Collectible Love is live February 13th, 2021. Collectible Love, how much do you possess? Collectible Love coming <laughs> through the blockchain. Dude, that's awesome. It is. Sounds Thank like a you. harem. Collectible Love, collect them all. Yeah. How many do you want in your harem? Do you need two, <laughs> four, 12? Collect them all. Well, there's something special that you sent to us, and I'm going to show uh, it. You sent them to the Nifty Shop account, and I want you to tell people, what are we looking at here? Well, you're looking at, um, there's, there's only three. 
There's only three of those babies out there. And what it is, it's uh, it's a love poem my wife wrote and spoke um, called The Uttermost. And it's just a beautiful poem. Uh, we minted three of them. There will only be three. Uh, gifted, gifted them to you, uh, Joel and Travis, um, to auction the mint number one off, keep the other two and do what you wish, hold it and uh, hopefully buy that yacht one day with it, nice. um, <laughs> fingers crossed, but uh, auction that, that number one off and uh, you know, give, a, give a percentage of that to the Uplift Donate to go towards our school building in Haiti. Let's listen. I want to hear your wife's voice here because I haven't heard this. So let's just give her a, a little The voice. uttermost, beyond the deepest depth, above the highest height, across the longest length, and between the shortest sight. Where is she from? She's got an exotic voice. She's from Italy. Ah, uh, the Italiano voice. And also I noticed there you're using some of the artwork that was in the reimagine NFT that you gave to us to drop to Nifty Box members. Yeah, so this is this is an evolution to that piece. Um, so if you compared the two, you'll you'll see see an evolution to it for sure. Um, so I thought it was fitting because that reimagined piece it was using a uh, kind of an inspired um, Imagine uh, song from uh, John Lennon. Um, but uh, I thought it was fitting because that was a limited edition of, I think, around two or 300. Um, so I, I wanted to make a very limited um, version of that, which would be max of three, um, but with a twist to it with the, the uttermost poem on it. I got to say, man, that is beautiful. Like, so not only are you creative and cool with your art and your music combining into one, your your wife turns out she's like a poet and a creative soul in her own so you guys got some got some lovely energy flowing over there oh we do and you know um she is an incredible cook too it's like she's she spoils me she's uh you know she's she's from italy so she's a she's a little different than your typical american not to you know insult american girls but she was brought up to basically um, I don't know. I don't know the best way to say this. She cooks for me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She takes care of me like I'm her king, you know, and in and, and, and the reverse, I, I treat her like my queen. So it's just beautiful synergy of, uh, I don't know, of what a, a man really wants. Right? You're like, woman, make me a sandwich. Yeah. No, he doesn't even have to. She's like, so Mr. Michael Blue, would you like a sandwich? She's automatic she sandwiching. She's she, automatic. You know, I'm I'm the kind of guy that when I get into it, I just forget about time and space. She'll come into my office and she'll put this. Uh, she's a beautiful sandwich maker, from soup and sandwich that you know I had today. And yeah, she spoils the heck out of me. And uh, you know we've got three kids, and she's a great mother. So I'm I'm a blessed blessed man. That's awesome, man. Uh, well, that, that, art, uh, that that poem sounds beautiful. And if anybody is familiar with the other stuff that you've done. You know, you've collected these fragments before. You had a fragment collection thing going on in January. And I believe I just got the full collected version of it in my uh, Bitcoin Origins box today somehow. <laughs> what the, yeah. what happened with that? Because I, I know, you know a lot of people are like, what in the hell? How did the signals get crossed? I guess the gods were just shining down on us and just wanted to give Uplift Art a nice little promo to the uh, the Bitcoin Origins <laughs> crowd, right? So, uh yeah, you know, it's just a, it was a simple error. Uh, I, I guess uh, Atomic, you know, Jonah was uh, work, working out the kinks for the drop for Bitcoin Origins and copied and pasted one ID and put it in the wrong place and whammo, a cross connection happened. And uh, yeah, so Bitcoin Origins got dropped. Um, Mr. Spaceman NFT key, the completed fragment of the event. So we're going to be creating a special edition, Mr. Spaceman, for all of the participants in the actual event to uh, to give them an extra gift, uh, so to speak, um, because I think there's 300 extra printed that were 
given not that supposed to... to happen. Yeah. You know, I find myself walking around just randomly going, hey, Mr. Spaceman, shine, shine here upon me. And I'm like, you can, wow, nice. You... That's like a song worm you created, brother. You got some pipes, man. When are we going to collaborate? Dude, let's do we're, it. We're ready. We're ready to collaborate with you. Let's do something bad. crypto <laughs> Yeah. Well, we did do the song Bye, Bye, Bye by yeah. NSYNC when we changed the words and but there was no collaboration. That was you and I just being bad, bad, bad. I mean, if we true. work with M Blue, we're gonna sound eh, okay. You know, that'll be a. Oh uh, yeah, on. yeah. Let's do it. We're, we're gonna do that. So okay. uh, you know, once hey, you know what, uh, Joel's birthday and my birthday is both in May. So maybe we could do the drop before May. It could be the uh, the Joel and Travis May Day NFT. Love it, man. We can provide you with all the artwork, you know, on our side that you need that you want to fudge with. Travis has Beautiful. all the PSDs of stuff. So, um, but by the way, speaking of collaboration, we did a call a few days ago. You're doing something super cool in Minecraft. Another super cool thing in Minecraft. You've already done one. Are you, is this public information yet? Or yep. is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, we've got a few minutes. Um, talk about that really briefly. And if you want to share a screen on your side and show off, you know, what this is going to be, you can. You know, uh, I, I don't have anything easily to get right now to share, but, uh, you know, let's use our imagination, right? So okay. 126 million users in the Minecraft ecosystem. Um, so we have, we have some really incredible talent working with us. Um, and so we found a way to create a second layer map that maps out the entire world in up in Minecraft. The, the world that we've created is called the Uplift. And basically um, we can um, issue land rights to the people that hold the NFT for that space. For example, um, we have built a, um, a basically a, a monument to, uh, well, let me go back. We did a, a Burning Man monument at the beginning, right? And that was a 50 by 50 parcel of land. And we built this big old uh, Burning Man on there. Those coordinates are tied to the NFT. So if you hold that NFT and you're in the uplift, you own that land and you're the only one that can build on that land or you can whitelist other people to come in and help you build on that land, destroy that land, incentivize that land. Um, doing actions within the uplift, you're gonna earn wax rewards at the start, but it'll also include other types of rewards in the future, other, other project cryptocurrencies as rewards, as well as um, discovering and finding uh, NFTs from anything from Bitcoin origins to blockchain heroes to uplift art. Um, we've got a, a bunch of uh, different projects coming in, building, um, you know, building projects within the, in the uplift, we're going to have land sales, NFT uh, land keys is what we're calling them. So if you buy the key, you got, you've got the rights to that land. So uh, it's just, you know, a lot of incredible people are coming together to build this communal ecosystem where all these projects can thrive and have fun together. That's, That's awesome. Cool. Our land looks cool too, doesn't it, Joel? Yeah, it does. It's got some prefab stuff on it and, uh, just need to find some, some time to get busy and we're going to need a little help from you uh, uh, and Corey to get things going. But we definitely can envision seeing, you know, some blockchain heroes characters larger than life on there, kind of like you did with the Mr. Spaceman, right? This massive Genesis would just be amazing. Be so awesome. I would say this, if there's anybody listening to this who's awesome at Minecraft and maybe wants to participate and be in the community. I know Ken Bosak has a plot of land too. He's making a big massive bong, I think, in is in the center that's going to be smoking. But uh we have we have some beachfront property folks. I mean mm -hmm. we got like a little resort area there. You can bring your finest vapes over and participate with that as well if you need. But we would love to have some cool ass statues made. Oh yeah um, and we'll we'll reward you with uh with hero uh social money um for uh for this as well so you know for helping out and by the way everybody who's here you're going to have well there's going to be up to 100 people are going to be able to claim some hero social money from us here shortly um michael before you go i want to get the auction started here on atomic for this this piece and so i'm going to share the screen here um you basically you said hey auction off number one 
and uh, please give 50% of the proceeds to the charity. And then you said you and Travis can wrestle for number two and three. Uh, but we talked about it and we don't want to take any of the money from any of these. And as much as we'd love to keep the NFTs, we're going to auction all three of them and donate 100% of the proceeds we receive to uh, back to the Haitian charity that you're working with. And I hope wow, you're okay that, with that. that that's really beautiful of you, of you too. Thank you. Uh, at the same time, we promote a win, win, win. So you know, we always like it if, uh, if you feel like you've won at the same time. So, well, uh, we, we, de- you know, you can't not win when you're giving. I mean, it's just, it's not possible when you give, you win. So we're, uh, sure. we're going to auction all three of them. Let me ask you, um, you know, should we do all three of them at once? Should I start with mint number three and do that for a day? And yeah, then I'd go start with mint number three. I just want to say this, Mr. Joel Kahn made me, he, he forced me to be a giver. <laughs> what what should true. we set the starting <laughs> price at? What do you think, Mike? You know, ten thousand is a good number. All right, so mint number three, or I could do them all concurrently and just set different prices. Like start this one at ten, start number two at fifteen, and start uh, number one at twenty. Sounds good. How's that sound? I'm just gonna that way I don't have to wait, and that way you guys don't have to wait. If you know you want number one, you can go after it. So I'm gonna list this one right now and that is the wrong account let's go to the nifty shop because that's where they are all right that one is now for business a 24-hour auction on uh, this one right here and then uh, this one's going to start mint number two <laughs> this Wait, one's mine. <laughs> is starting at fifteen thousand for one day what I'm do gonna you gonna bookmark it so i can listen to it occasionally and that's going up right now. And then um, we will go ahead and list number one as well. Or but that one at 21,000, bro. 21, 21. There you Travis, go. Is, Travis has Jones for everything that's 21. Like, 21. You know, I, I do too. Uh, you know, that damn All Satoshi. Bosak has Jones for everything 420. I have Jones for everything 21. Yeah. Make it 21. We're only going to mint two of these. Make it 21. There's supposed to be a hundred of these. I need 21. 121. Okay. So you guys can go just search um, on the market. You should be able to go to the marketplace now and go to auctions and just look for, I mean, they're showing up there because they're the most recent ones, but if you just search for uttermost, they will come up right there and let the bidding begin. I want to see some bids coming in here. A hundred percent of uh, after the market fees come in. We're going to donate that from the Nifty Shop to the address of M Blue's choice. So make Boom. it happen, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, brother. Well, we appreciate you. Look forward to collaborating more here in the future. And uh, December or February 14th, gang, make sure you're at uplift.art to participate in the Tiamo event. Thank you so much. Right. Hey, guys, and send, send me a, a track or two of a song that you you like the feel of for the one that we're going to collaborate on it'll, it'll get my wheels turning on uh kind of like the the direction okay we will talk about that and get back to you good stuff guys That's much awesome. love thanks man you're the best you're the best in blue that i know man <laughs> he is the true uplifter all right love take it. care our friend Appreciate you, brother. Ciao. okay uh sir lord travis that's exciting stuff right there that is. And there's, you know what, speaking of love, just, oh, by the way, while if you have a nifty box, there will be some drops for you all as well. Let me actually pull up here on my screen. Hey, let, let's somewhere. do it after our guest. Okay, we're gonna have a little, do it. We got some love. We're going to be dropping too. Uh, and our guest is here waiting in the wings. So uh, from Maker's Place, where you can discover and collect truly rare digital artworks, makersplace.com. We've got Rioma Ito here. Rioma. Hey, welcome. guys. Hey, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Are Thanks you actually in the Bay Area or just your background? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the Bay Area. So I figured it'd be nice representation to show everybody. Travis is in the house area. That's where he <laughs> is. True. Yeah. I'm in my general living room office area. Yeah, it's a good place to be in during COVID. It's true. I know that you guys were working, uh, you've done some work with Beeple, and uh, we were working on getting Beeple to come to a show, but it looks like uh, that's going to happen maybe in a couple weeks or so. 
Um, yeah, I mean, stuff are still up in the air, so uh, we'll see. Um, but I mean, in, in the meantime, we got a bunch of other partnerships and uh, some exciting artists coming down the line. So, you know, February is going to be a pretty busy month for us. So we're excited to see what happens. Well, let's talk about this. Here's here's the website, makersplace.com. Go ahead and tell us what this is we're looking at here. Yep. So Makersplace, uh, we consider ourselves to be the premier digital art marketplace. Uh, you know, we have a, quite a community of the passionate creators and collectors. Uh, we do as much as we can to help both the creators get familiarized with the space, you know, setting up them uh, with like a personalized uh, storefront where they can kind of um, publish as they want sort of self-service uh, and you know they can protect and monetize their work that way um, you know we also you know try to give them as much uh, visibility through our social media um, through drops as well drops is like a huge component uh, where you know we have curated artworks that are released at uh, uh, defined periods um, you know on the collector side we try to give them the features to kind of explore as much of the content um, as possible for the content that they want to see. So we have a lot of personalization. So if they have accounts, uh, we have some machine learning going on to kind of recognize what kind of stuff they like, what kind of stuff they purchased. Um, so just easier access to the stuff that they want to see. So a wide assortment of uh, creators. Yeah, Javier Arez, like he's uh, one of the notable creators. He's been with us for a long time. His artwork are, is like just amazing. So like this is so fun. I freaking love this piece. Yeah. Like, so like I would of, I would want this on my monitor. Yeah. The amount of detail that goes into like his work here is just amazing. Like so many different details. You can look at each small component, um, and there's like a different element to it. So yeah, like he's got some fantastic work. A wow. lot of the people appreciate his work. Um, and you know, it, it, like it it takes a lot of effort to actually put this together. Um, yeah. So. Every time it comes in, it's a, it's a pretty big event. <laughs> Craig Wright's head pops up. Yeah. Now this is isometric. This is a very highly detailed isometric animated GIF. Like I don't mm -hmm. know that I've seen something in this particular style with this particular perspective. Yeah. This detail. Yeah. There's so much going on with it. Like one corner, you got one thing. Another one that's telling us a different story, but it all meshes all together nicely. So yeah, artists like this on the platform, um, you know, Javier is definitely uh, one of the notable ones. Is his uh, name West Coast Bill or did Javier create it and West Coast Bill owns it? Yeah, West Coast Bill owns it. So Javier, is, uh, he, he created it. Yeah, if you look down here, if you scroll down, you could see um, this guy paid $18,888 for it six days ago. Wow, look at how the prices have increased over time. People buying yeah. it and selling it back. Or were those bids? That, those are bids. Uh, oh, and in. so yeah, then he, so he was, was the was final bid winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny you talk about like some prices changing over the course of the year. So, you know, even going back like one year, some of the like the prices that we were happy about were saying, oh, there's like a thousand dollar bid that came through. That's huge. And then like the scale at it, which is it kind of expanded to now is just phenomenal. So, yeah, it's great to see that the NFT ecosystem is sort of growing. It is exploding so tell us this so now if you sign up do you got to sign up as a collector or as a creator or if you're a creator do you have to be onboarded because like we've we have lots of different things that we've created necessarily and we have some different styles but mm -hmm. i think it just looks like my accounts maybe a collector instead of a creator is there a difference yeah yeah so we have two separate accounts one is a creator specific one and uh, that one requires an invite to get access to. Um, and then we have our collector account, which anybody can kind of um, register for and just gives them the ability to purchase artwork. So on the creator side, we do have some curation going on. Um, we do like have a bunch of people requesting to come in. So it takes a little bit of time to go through, but uh, we just want to make sure that uh, we're doing the proper identity checks to make sure that people aren't presenting artwork that's not theirs. So that kind of stuff takes time and we value that a lot. So um, that's sort of the process we go through to onboard creators. You know, we've been, uh, most of what we've done has been on wax. I'm assuming that this is all Ethereum based. Is that yep. right? Yeah. Everything is on Ethereum. This guy right here. Yeah. Um, so these are auctions, Joel. So let me ask you this, uh, Ryuma. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a thing called the Bitcoin elite and, uh, every on the 21st of every month we have, uh, one artist is creating a special piece and there's 21 of those. Mm -hmm. Then there's a special one of one that we'd like to maybe auction. 
And so each month it's going to be very cool. The first drop happens this month here in on the 21st. Then we have another set of cards, which are like these badass 3D golden sort of things that commemorate the price of Bitcoin through the years since the Genesis block. Mm -hmm. So what we've been thinking about doing is like that one of one. We wanted to go to a really cool auction place because there's only one of them. And we're having we're having Vesa. Uh, he's created the first piece, and then we're going to take that one of one. It's going to have a badass frame around it. We think we're going to have it where it rotates around on a pedestal, really, mm. really high end. How could we maybe go about getting on Maker's Place and doing the auction there? Well, yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, you know, uh, first stop is trying to get guys registered, make sure that uh, we have a better understanding of who the creator is of these artworks. Um, so uh, we do a fair amount of work to kind of validate uh, social media presence, websites to make sure that you know whoever is creating these artworks is properly associated with the piece. Right. Um, so you like, just got to legitimize that you yeah, know yeah, somebody's exactly. not stealing you know somebody else's artwork. Right. Exactly. So I mean that would be like part of the starting point is making sure we go through that process. Uh, but yeah, definitely interested to try to see about uh, working something out to get some of your pieces um, that you're planning. Um, but so would it be just sort of like one piece or multiple pieces? Well, we'd start with one, but it's a monthly. So uh, the, the idea is, is that Bitcoin on its, uh, you know, birthday, then the Genesis block birthday mm -hmm. is a certain price. And yep. so the first piece we're releasing is 2009, where, of course, yeah. it was zero cents. Uh, what was it in 2010, Trav? I was, I was like four cents. Yeah. So each piece is going to be unique series of pieces and there's going to be a different artist that makes the the um the limited to 21 edition and the one of one mm -hmm. okay yeah it sounds interesting yeah maybe we could actually work with you guys to pick some of the future months artists like you've worked with some really awesome people and we can say hey and what we've done is we split that percentage with the with the artist who's doing the cool stuff and so it's a matter of getting them out there building up because a lot of people don't even necessarily know about nfts yet mm -hmm. uh, i think that that's about to change most people's about to hear about them if they're in the space and uh you know it's getting great artists to do great stuff to commemorate the the, the purchasing power of crypto over the years damn that's that's that's, that's winnie the money. winnie the worst he's not the poo anymore he's the worst, the worst. oh man yeah. Yeah, you got to love the creativity that artists have uh, taken some unique angles on everything. There yeah. is some really interesting stuff happening here. You is know, I, South Park as, as actual humans. Where's that? This Scroll one up here? Up. Oh, I yeah. Was, I think I saw, there it is. South Park reimagined. Oh, by somebody named Travis. That's pretty awesome. Oh, huh. Kenny, you're going <laughs> to oh, die. Oh, you're going to die, Kenny. He should have had him laying down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, so we, we've worked with some other organizations about doing some call to actions where um, uh, co creators kind of come together to submit some artworks towards a specific um, goal. So, I mean, that could be a similar thing that we do with you guys, um, work out some kind of agreement uh, where our, our creators, we all ask them to kind of submit artworks for, towards um, this project that you guys are working on. So how do you share with the creators? They sell, is, is every contract negotiated separately or is there a flat commission that goes to Maker's Place and the rest of the artists? Yeah, it's a pretty standard. Um, I think other platforms have a similar. So 85% um, goes to the creator, 15% goes to us. And that's yep. just sort of standard across everybody. Yeah. And then going into like secondary sales, uh, we have royalties as well. So 10% going to back to the original creator on every sec a secondary sale that happens. I'm just fascinated with the stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's just some really, really cool. A lot of these are animated too. You don't know until you uh, click them, right? Because you're just seeing a still. Oh no, you could yeah, see. Yeah, there we have like the icon, the animation icon. Look at that one there. So if you look how beautiful over. she is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's uh, calling for you. Say, Joel, purchase me. Bad Joel. <laughs> that is the morphing on it. Fantastic. How long has uh, a Maker's Place been around? When, when did you guys first launch? Oh, it's been a couple of years. Uh, I think it was like early springtime, like 2018. <clears throat> mm. so that's yeah. awesome. So, so what was the moment for you when you said, wow, NFTs and digital art, this is clearly going to be a thing. Because uh, a lot of people, 
didn't see this early on. Like when crypto kitties happened, Joel and I, we saw it, we said, Oh damn, this is going to be big. And we've yeah. put a lot of thought towards it. What was it for you that made yeah, you go? It, okay, it's pretty much that same, same period. Like a crypto to kitties came out. It's like, Oh, this has potential. So like, even at that time, a lot of people have trouble understanding about the whole idea of digital ownership and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, like at that time, it just made sense that, you know, there's a lot of application that can be used towards it. Um, like one that, came to me very quickly was uh, the whole sports industry. Um, so like the whole NBA top shots type of stuff. And it's like, you know, that's like a natural regression, but it probably hard to do, hard to execute on like with all the licensing that needs to go into it. But like, what are other areas that can kind of expand mm -hmm. upon? And art was sort of that category that sort of made sense for a lot of digital creators. Um, one of the founders, uh, Danny Chu and Yash, uh, they, they're both at Pinterest. Um, mm -hmm. So attribution was like a huge, huge, problem there um, where a lot of the content is being shared um, and you know it's never really clear who the original creator is very so true like, right so stuff like that happens rampantly and that's sort of what uh, the source of where makerspace came to be is like, how do we fix that kind of problem blockchain can fix that through the nfts that's very important you know what because it's like you know you see in some stuff like even for example there was a big launch today with Bitcoin Origins that had launched and they had their 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 moment three. But it's like, I don't I know Bitcoin Origins created, but I don't know who the artist was who made that. And that artist, whoever that artist is or group of artists, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. And maybe there almost needs to be, I think we were, Ken Bosak uh, was chatting, we were chatting about uh, maybe even doing a, a database of NFT artists, right? Of like, this artist has done all of these things on these projects. That way you could say, oh, blockchain heroes mm -hmm. which artists have done stuff on this oh travis Wright, where has he done stuff oh he's done all of these right it's like if you think about it it'd be really cool to know and follow artists around and be like so i want to know when their next drop is i love this person's art and maybe mm -hmm. it's in a different set uh, i want to know who they are so that could be handy yeah yeah absolutely yeah, especially with like uh, creators being on different platforms yeah, you know, that kind of stuff would definitely be helpful. So for anybody who's listening out there, that could be an opportunity to kind of build a like an overall database across all the artists. So I just signed up. Uh, what, so they gave me the options to sign up with Facebook or Twitter or Civic. How come there's not a MetaMask connection? A MetaMask? Uh, so the, the MetaMask option, we want to try to make this service sort of user-friendly and not everybody has uh, crypto wallets, right? Right. So, you're thinking about the collector side, we want to try to make it easier for people who are not familiar with crypto to get into the space. Um, so the easiest way to do that is, you know, offering credit card is sort of the, uh, the option to come through and pay with, right? So even with registration, trying to make it as similar as possible to their regular experience that they're used to um, and not restricting it by having to require like a wallet that not everyone is familiar with. So we're buying with a credit card using fiat, kind of like uh, Nifty Gateway. Oh, we offer both options. So people who do have the wallets, uh, they can come through and purchase using Ethereum. But uh, for people who aren't familiar with it, then we do option uh, have the option to uh, purchase using credit cards as well. Mm. I think that is so crucial right there because, you know what, we spend a lot of our times on the WAC, the WAX ecosystem, which we love. Mm -hmm. But if somebody wants to get on the Atomic Hub, you know, and, and, and look for different assets and wants to buy something. And they're like, oh, I got to buy this in WAX. Well, what do I do to get WAX? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, well, you can swap it over with Changely or whatever. Well, some of those don't even actually work in America, right? Yeah. And so America, we have some of these problems where it's like, man, give us the option to do fiat and crypto because you mentioned NBA Top Shot and Joel and I are going to talk about that a little bit later on. I love what it, the opportunity that it has because I can actually fund my account with my credit card or my debit card, it has the opportunity for the flow token in there. You can buy and sell with that if you're not a U.S. resident. And you can also uh, pay with the regular crypto, Bitcoin or Ethereum. So that seems like that's how that's how it's going to be working in the future is that you need to have the multiple types of payments yep. because not everybody is up to speed with the cryptos yet. Yep, exactly. Um you know, for some people who are more advanced, the wallets are definitely a lot easier to use. Uh, but for people who aren't, then yeah, having as many options to, you know, get people into this space is going to be pretty important. I love how much art there is out there now for people to choose from. I mean, there's something oh, yeah. for everybody. And, 
you know, it's not like going to a gallery where everything is static. These, yeah. these pieces are, are living and I've become addicted. I've bought several pieces from Nifty Gateway and I have a feeling now that I've discovered this and I'm in trouble because I'm seeing pieces here. They're like, oh, the damn, this looks so good on a big display on my wall. Mm -hmm. Just sit there on the sofa with a glass of wine and stare at it. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole bunch of different ways to kind of have more utility around these two, right? So the, the infinite objects, the cambia, the mural, I think that uh, that kind of physical aspect is trying to play a more bigger picture um, in terms of how people represent it, um, especially for the people coming from like non-crypto backgrounds, it's easier for them to digest. So yeah, like it's great to see the whole ecosystem growing. I remember like back in the early days, uh, trying to get artists to come into the platform, um, you know, trying to educate them on why it matters um, and like how can it actually benefit them. But now it's sort of kind of twisted a little a little bit where we're having more inbound coming in, um, it, uh, creators requesting to come to the platform, which is great. So it's a sign that the, the ecosystem is growing by a, like a large amount. Look at this one, ego. My mind is blown and it's, it's oh, blowing yeah. in, in little colored bubbles. Yeah, and you still have people out there that don't fully get it. I mean, it was even as recently as a few months ago, Peter McCormick said, I screenshotted your NFT and now I own it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? how obtuse exactly. can you be? That is just so out of touch with the reality of what we're dealing with here. Yeah, but I mean, there is still a significant amount of people um, that sort of still have that same mindset, right? Uh, it's like, why do I have to pay for something that I can get for free? Right. It's still going to take some time to educate the masses, but we're, we're definitely getting closer. Yeah. Well, that's where those, 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 uh, those Bitcoin maximalists, they just think it's Bitcoin or nothing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they miss, they, they, they lost the plot somewhere along the way, because the fact is that digital ownership is going to tap into a whole lot of areas, not just digital art. I mean, yeah. NFTs are going to be all kinds of things. Actually, we're talking about this, this week on our bad news episode, Joel, mm -hmm. where the car cars of the future, Ford and some of these at GM and some of these other ones are talking about a car birth certificate, which is sort of like your VIN and it's going to be on the blockchain. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, you mean like an NFT? Because that's exactly what it's going to be. A non-fungible token that talks about this unique car that's specific to you. It's an NFT. Like these are going to be throughout society. People are going to start getting these digital deeds ownership things mm -hmm. to not only physical items but also digital items and it's going to be a common occurrence and you're just going to have your proof of ownership right there in your wallet right yep absolutely look at this one trav oh yeah Neo american IRS. football pop altar piece yeah if you look through it's a whole collection you'll just get lost looking at all the details and the animations it's going through really amazing i it am i am those mad magazines like that one dude in mad magazine where you like You'd have you'd look and there'd be all these different little things that are going on, you know. And that's that, this guy's amazing. This artist right here, spectacular. I'd love to have this guy do a do a uh, you know one of the commemorative pieces for a, a year of Bitcoin because he just got a different style. It's right, just unbelievable. I'm gonna own one of his. I don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna own one of them. I love this stuff. Well, this is super cool. Guys, check it out. Makersplace.com is uh, where you can go sign up for an account. It's free to sign up, go browse stuff. And if you see a work of art that uh, catches your attention, then do your thing. Uh, Rioma, thanks for coming on sharing with us today. We'll be in touch about um, seeing how we can collaborate with you. Yep, sounds great. Uh, oh, wait, somebody just took a screenshot of our show here. So now they own our show. <laughs> so unfair. Damn it, Jordan Fader. <laughs> dude so uncool uh, appreciate you Roma yeah. good stuff buddy. take care guys see you take care Bye. see ya so cool Trav I'm just I'm enamored with NFTs mm. you know something that uh, that he had mentioned you know NBA Top Shot mm -hmm. there was uh last night so I think NBA Top Shot has blown up so much here recently over the course of the last week some of the uh, two weeks the prices have just skyrocketed. Like I had 171 cards and I sold several thousand dollars worth of cards and then took those, th that money and then bought back different cards that I thought are cooler. And they launched a pack for the first time last night in like about a week. 
And how many people were in the queue trying to get? Well, this thing? so uh, I got a text from uh, from Zach, my son, uh, while I was in the car driving. He's like, "They're on sale now. There's only twelve thousand left, and there's thirty thousand people in line." By the time I got home, I'm like, "Well, there's no way I'm going to get one." But let's see what happens when I log in. Check this out. I was number fifty two thousand five hundred and ninety two with thirty one thousand seven hundred and eighty five people ahead of me, which clearly said there ain't no way you're getting a pack. And this was a common nine dollar pack. This wasn't even a big deal. Yeah. No, the big deals are the legendary packs that will sell for two hundred fifty bucks. And the thing is, is that those legendaries is only normally seventy five of a card or maybe there's two hundred and ninety nine of a card ever. And, you know, some of those LeBron James cards are going for, if you look in the marketplace, click up here at the top and look at the marketplace and, and just sort not up at the top by listing date, newest, just sort by uh, lowest price descending. What? Oh, yeah. Damn. And some of these is... cards, there's, there's only 32 of that one card there. And the lowest ask is $250,000. There's been several cards that have sold for $100,000 on NBA Top Shot. Some Zion Williamson uh, sold for hundred grand the other day. A couple LeBron James did. If you go to their NBA Top Shot on Instagram, they'll just show you some of the cool stuff, but they always share some of those big moments that sold. And, um, yeah, I was not available. I was not at home last night either. So I had been watching for a week waiting for a drop. And then the one night I'm actually not at home, they do the freaking drop. Everything sold out. Yeah, look at that. $29 for that pack that was there. And there's cards in that pack that are worth so much. It's ridiculous. Basically, now they're saying a $9 pack has a bare minimum of $46 ROI. So that's what's happening is people are coming in and just hoping they can get one. And then if you get a low mint card of some player that people know, then, you know, it pops well, it's not the only thing that sold out. Uh, today found us with memory one or memory three, rather, of Bitcoin Origins. Uh, and they sold the one, they got the one meg, the two meg, and the four meg blocks. And I am not a robot. I can prove it. Beep, boop, beep, bop, boop, bus, bus, bus. The, uh, the moment three, one megabyte block, there was 3,021 total. You were allowed to purchase five per account. And how long would you say it took for them to sell out at $25? They definitely sold out less than a minute because you out, nobody was able to get that second purchase a minute later. So I would say they sold out all 3,000 blocks in a, in a minute. You could buy five per account. And they've changed it for tomorrow when the two meg goes on sale. It's only one per account. Um, so 400. And, it looks like they put aside a, a few for team probably. 476 will go on sale. And then a day later for $500, the four meg block, there'll be 62 of those available. Um, I did manage to grab my five. I was not aware that they were pre-minting them. And so I bought um, my five and, and um, I opened three of them really quickly. Uh, I have not, this is, See, oh, it's my wrong account. That's why it's in my series. Uh, those are my series one blocks that I have. This is memory one. I've got a one meg, a two meg, and one of the five Look at those remaining. Those low mints too, man. Damn. But this is one of five remaining unopened four meg blocks from memory one. But these are in a different account. So let me log into that account. And something really weird happened when I opened those up today. Uh, I was the first one it happened to, and I'm like, what kind of bug did I just encounter here? All right, now I can show you. Because when my cards dropped, I got, um, oh, they actually removed them. They, they, they reversed. Oh, no, they're not showing here because they're not in the collection here. I have to go to my um, Atomic so you can see this. Let me log in here with my other account. I was like, what in the world? This is not a Bitcoin Origins card I'm looking at right here. All right. So <laughs> first one I opened, this card dropped, and then this dropped. M-Blue's Mr. Spaceman. I'm like, what in the world? 
is yeah, going on number here. Number 148 mint. So look at that. So there was like 400 of them created today from people opening up packs, <laughs> which basically says what? There's only been 400, 500 packs opened up today of those blocks? Hang on a second. Keep talk, Trev. I'm, I'm being paged. Okay. He's being paged. He's got a pager. Are you a drug dealer? This is this is the year 2021. Who has a pager these days? Anyway, as on the screen here, yeah, Mr. Spaceman and Mr. Blue uh, had these dropped, and that's crazy. 523. There was less than a, there was like what what even a hundred of those available originally were there? Right. Yeah, something like that. Well, as uh, as M. Blue told us, uh, everybody who participated in the event, they're going to get a special edition, Mr. Spaceman, to so that the effort you put into collecting those 12, you still get, will get rewarded with something um, unique, but those are, they're gone. So it, now what they've done is they've tracked everybody who got those and they got the BTCO token, which is what you were supposed to get. Um, I just pretty much got common cards out of mine. If I had known they were pre mints and that's my bad for not researching, uh, I probably wouldn't have opened these blocks. You probably would have opened up one. Yeah, I probably would have opened one. I, I did. I opened got... up. I opened up one. I got an interesting. I got the. I didn't get a rare one, but did get that big that Bitcoin. Uh, that looks like they just dropped that BTOCO token into my box. So mm -hmm. wow. Oh, so three thousand twenty one total of those existed, and looks like what only six hundred and forty five have actually been opened up so far. So most people are not opening up their blocks in moment three. So yeah, far. and blue wizard sent me a screenshot. He had like three pages of them because he's buying up everything pretty much. Right. So good luck to everybody tomorrow. And there's only 476 of these. And, um, you know, hopefully you can get a block. This is going to be really challenging when it comes to moment three, only 62 people are going to get one of these and you know, we're going to try. No, I'm that's Super Bowl day. I'm gonna try. You know what I noticed on this one is that I got I bought and um, my mints were 48 to 53, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Uh, yeah, 48 to 52. So that tells me I got a pretty good I got a pretty good clicker. Yeah, you you did. I I did not get low ones, and uh, and I was using Anchor, like the Cloud Wallet you know, was slow again. And of course it brought the whole system down. It just, uh, everything was slow. People couldn't uh, get packs. They couldn't unbox them. It was, uh, it was not pretty. Yeah. Hey, you want to share the screen there of the block, the Bitcoin elite? Yeah, I do want to share that. So this is coming up. Um, and uh, before we close out, I'll make sure we give away hero tokens to, uh, to everybody here. Uh, we've already got a full show for next week. Oh, and I heard a rumor, Sir Lord Travis. Oh, yeah. I heard a rumor. Um, let me pull this up first. I can find it here. The Street Fighter. Mm. There's a lot of banter going around, and streetfighter.cards is coming to wax. Uh, streetfighter.cards, that's the website right here. And there's no date on here. Uh, for these going on sale but i did hear a rumor that the 18th of february is going to be the day that these go on sale ah well read this here it says how it works start by opening packs of build cards then combine two matching build cards to unlock a new card with one of six rarities continue upgrading that card's power score by adding additional build cards once you reach a power score of five, you unlock a special class card in a one of six rarities. Build cards are burned when used, which increases card scarcity and value. Interesting. Oh, so the here's the, the eight beautiful. different rarities with the, uh, the class card being the ultra rare. Um, so I I'm just going to say this. I'm a little underwhelmed at the, 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 the higher level rarities, right? I mean, the Epic, it just got this background that goes back and forth. The Legendary has a background that goes back and forth too, which is like a shinier edge. And then the ultra rare, you got a little confetti. And a little confetti also kind of drops in on the super rare. I'm just, I don't know, am I being super critical or am I right to be a little underwhelmed? Well, I'm not overwhelmed. You're, you're I, appropriately whelmed? I think I, maybe what it is is I am just whelmed. Yeah. 
I mean, they're, they're not, there's nothing golden here. There's no super splashy light effects to it. And maybe that's just within the theme of, um, you know, of, of Street Fighter. I yeah. don't know. Finish him. About uh, other them. people say they are they are also whelmed and underwhelmed, but here the thing is it's it's Street Fighter and I I like the burn mechanism they've got in place that seems pretty mm -hmm. cool, uh, but I actually hadn't seen their legendary their legendary it's just a little bit orange a little bit of red that yeah. makes it legendary, they could have done a lot more I think to make those things truly pop they don't pop 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 yeah so it Crypto is. Ed just said I want to see some animated fighting moves right dude like, that's it you want. It's legendary and it's completely static. He's not doing anything. He's not. They could have totally made that a video where it's moving and fighting. Yeah. Um, but I will buy some. I'm your Huckleberry. I don't care what you put up there. I'm going to give you my money just because I love popping wax packs and, and I'm a fan. But I'm just not nearly as, uh, as whelmed as I would like to be. Yeah. Well, maybe that's. I mean, even the ultra rare class card is not doing anything except the confetti thing like you said. yeah it's kind of like sparklers going around the edges here you know that's what it is Man, hey. all i know is that I, I i don't have as many resources as capcom and street fighter does but i could do that exact damn same thing right there right so the rumor is february 18th we'll keep you posted to see if that rumor becomes a reality there's two dates though that we know for sure that are coming and, and trev i think i want to go um sequentially before okay. i hit up on the other the first one is um, we are releasing a mini set for blockchain heroes that is called Stonk Wars. And that is going to happen here on the 15th of, uh, of February. Uh, we, we went in depth on this a lot more in the Hero Report last night. So if you want to see all the details, go to... You can maybe play um, the video. I'm, I'm going to play the this. video. I, I, made go, the, I made this video. Go to blog. I added the music to it blog.bcheroes.com forward slash report 30 and uh, watch this Uh, so why don't you uh, briefly, Trav, just kind of share what uh, what the set is all about, and then I'll show people who missed the Hero Report our first character, our yeah, iconic yeah. character from it. So you guys were paying attention this last week or so with the whole Wall Street bets and the short squeeze that was going on with the GameStop and uh, AMC stocks and some of those other ones, and they were fighting against the hedge funds, and then the hedge funds were crying – and then you know, Robin Hood ended up stopping of the uh, the uh, trading of GameStop, and there's all kinds of shenanigans was going on, and you could really see how the uh, the the system is rigged. The system is rigged for the rich, and anytime something crazy like this happens in society, blockchain heroes really have to come in and put their spin on it to educate and uh, with a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of wit. And uh, we decided to call it Stonk Wars because that's the meme name for stonks as you're trading stonks. And it will game stonk is a term. And so we came up with Stonk Wars. Actually, Joel came up with that term and we all cheered because uh, how hilarious we thought it was. I mean, here's the main character in this particular one. Power yep. Play. His name is Power Play. He's got diamond hands. He ain't selling. He's on a rocket going to the moon. He's inspired by the Wall Street Bets iconic character. And uh, there's going to be five heroes, five villains. This is uh, hero number one. He'll actually be on the pack of cards. It's a mini pack. 
That'll cost $5. There will be three cards in each one. The odds will be very similar to the odds of what you would get in any blockchain heroes cards. And you can kind of see a few of the variations here. Oh, this is the mythic the, right here. Look at that. There will be a one of one of him in the set. There's also an epic that we didn't have slotted here. There's classic art. There's stickers. And we've got some other surprises that are planned in there as well. So there's going to be 7,500 total packs of three cards for $5. Only a, a thousand of them are going to Nifty Box members who have paid for their subscription. Um, so 6,500 will be on sale. We think they're going to go really fast. And when they gone, they gone. So mark your calendar for February 15th for that one. Mm -hmm. How and many packs will be available for Lord Mr. 6,500 for sale. And these will be pre-mints too. The whole set will be pre-mint. So just come in and grab yours. And when you open it, you, you know, if you're the last one to buy, you could still get number one mints mm -hmm. in there. And where do you see these other characters? $5 a pack. I believe it's going on sale at uh, noon Eastern on the noon 15th Eastern. of Feb. Correct. Where do you see these other characters, the heroes and the villains? They are, uh, we've, we've seen all the artwork now and we're into making the variations and you guys are going to love them. Some of them, you're just going to be like, wow, that's badass. Other ones, you're going to crack up. It, yeah, and we love it. to do the pre-mints too, man, because <clears throat> I just, I just never been a fan of somebody being able to, you know, look at the smart contract and realize, oh, it's going on sale now and actually buying from before anybody else and then right. opening up a pack and everyone's a number one mint. Screw that. We want to make it fair for everybody because that only makes one person delighted. We like to delight the whole community. We want to delight y'all. And there will be, um, you know, a gate on it of how many packs you'll be able to buy at once. And then, you know, the clock will reset so you can get some more because we don't want a whale to come in and just buy the whole thing. I will buy 6,000 packs. Boom. And then they're selling them all in the secondary market. So we're going to make it so that everybody gets them. Mm -hmm. well, um, we, the, we don't dislike whales, though. We think they're okay. We love whales. We just, you know, even the whales know that they shouldn't have all of them. Right. They should have a whale-appropriate amount. That's true. That's true. Which is a lot. A lot of chum. So uh, the other thing that <laughs> we're really inspired to do is create a collection that Sir Lord Travis um, ideated. And why don't you talk about this, and then I'll show the screen. <clears throat> yeah, so with the Nifty Box... We drop lots of different things and the niftybox.com. We've sold out of those. They're no longer available. Uh, they're only available on the secondary market. But we drop eight to 10 to 20, sometimes 25 different drops a month, depending on which pack you got. And uh, in January, it was the 3rd of January, which was the anniversary of the Genesis block. And I thought, oh, wow, Bitcoin just passed $34,000 today. Cool. I'm going to make this card. I just did it on my own and made one, showed it to Joel. And I said, Hey, don't mint this yet. I, I got, I'm working on something. And then he mints it. And I'm, <laughs> I go, all right, well, uh, let's think about what we're going to do here on this. And I started thinking like, it could be a whole cool set, like commemorating what was the price of Bitcoin on January, January 3rd, 2010, 2011, 2015, et cetera. And going and creating a series based on the buying power of Bitcoin over time. And so we wanted to create really something really high end black tie. This was the very first one that I had created. You can see it's uh, embossed onto the coin, Bitcoin 34,000. And then we thought, you know what? We could do a hell of a lot better quality than that. And so we said, what if we're going to, if we hire the best artists and create the coolest cards possible? Uh, and we said, let's come up with a Bitcoin collection. And so it's not really like uh, Bitcoin Origins at all. Bitcoin Origins is taking this really cool technological look and they got the, the weaving this whole story. We're saying let's create really cool cards that are based on the price of Bitcoin as the purchasing power has increased over time. So this is a logo I came up with it to make it look as fancy as possible. This is as high end as I can get. I mean, I wear a ball cap and a hoodie a lot. I'm, I'm not so fancy, but this is just about as fancy as we get yeah and actually i've got uh, one of our early animations here there's going to be three different levels of uh of cards there's going to be one that's a 21 minute sale and this is a 3d animated card and i just downloaded it here so let me this is an early version there's this is the the final one is going to be changed but this is uh, going to commemorate the price of bitcoin on January of 2009 in, uh, you know, like I say, this is an early version um, that is, 
not complete yet, but there, this is going to be your basic version. It's going to be super cool. Let me play that again for you. And 3D, there's going to be a sale that takes place over 21 minutes. And what you'll get is a token that says you own one. And then what we're going to do when the sale's over is we're going to randomize the drop for the mints to those who purchase. So again, the race is not on to, uh, to be the first one to get it and get mint number one. It's just not fair. A lot of people don't have the speedy connections. They have errors with the wax wallet. So buy your token and then the sales over, we do the drop. Then the, the next level up is the limited to 21. And that's where we're going to have, you know, a premier artist this month. It's Veza. Uh, who is a mixed media artist who just does amazing stuff. And Travis, you've kind of seen the work in progress. I haven't seen it lately, so I don't know where it's at, but how amazing is it? Well, I don't know. I'd say, I, I'll tell you this, Vesa says he thinks it's one of his best pieces that he's putting together. So hmm. that'll tell you a lot. He's put together a lot of stuff. Although I know Vesa, and I think every time he creates a new piece, he thinks it's his best one. So it probably is his best one until his next one. And uh, that's what I that's what I like to say. But it's cool, man. There's only going to be 21 of those. Now, the gold cards with the little pedestal and the thing, there'll be a new one of those type of cards every month that commemorates the price. As Joel mentioned, there's a 21 minute auction for that. Who knows how many? It's are not be an sold. auction. It's, it's a not sale. an auction. A 21 minute sale. Yeah. And everybody who buys one uh, gets basically a number. And then, or basically gets a little ticket and then you got the ticket and then whoop, you'll drop them in there randomly. So who knows how many would be sold of that. Right. Uh, and then 21 of the other pieces from VESA and those will be the same thing. Those are going to go on sale and there's only 21 of them. And if you get one, you get one. And uh, it's going to be a pre, they're not going to be like, it's kind of pre-minted kind of a thing too. You're just going to get one and you don't know what mint number you're going to get. And right. then we're going to have the one of one which takes that cool piece of Vesa art, maybe puts a badass frame around it, like a renaissance looking thing, and then spins that around, maybe puts it in this big plexiglass sort of, you know, museum quality things. So we want to make it just look cool and bougie. And, and if you have it on your wall, it's badass. So you said wanna... bougie, that is a bleeped word on this show. Yeah. He doesn't like me to say bougie. So I have to say it. Cause it's often. not, it's, it's the opposite of bougie. It's, it's street bougie. <laughs> it's high end black tie bitches. Yes, that's right, lovey. So these are going to happen on the 21st of every month. So this one is going to happen on February 21st at 12 noon Eastern. All three, the the unlimited 21 minute sale, the tw the 21 of 21 sale and the auction will begin at that time. And um I'm thinking are we going to do a 21 minute auction or 21 hour? Probably 21 hour auction. 21 hour be. auction. Somebody's asking, well, why the hell would you say 21? What's your deal with 21? Well, if you know anything about Bitcoin, there are 21 million of them ever. And so 21 is kind of the number. It there has nothing to do with, with Blackjack at all. Nothing to do with Blackjack or Red Jack or anybody named Jack. No. Jack. You don't know Jack. That That's mm -hmm. it. That's what it is. All right. Uh, we're going to finish in just a moment, but I want you guys, before we give away some uh, some hero money to you all, um, next week on the show is packed. We've got three guests that are coming on. We have Dan from Ecomi. Um, go check out the VV app, V-E-V-E. -V -E. You'll learn more about it next week, but we think we might have found an undiscovered gem in the NFT space. Uh, we're going to have um, Nathan from Super World app. NFT Goodness and Roman from Crypto Lions. These are the guys behind the R Planet game that's coming out. They're finally about ready to launch the game. Many of you have been staking your uh, your NFTs and earning Aether, and I believe they're going to be giving away some Aether as well to those of you who are here. So um, so go check, get ready for that next week. Put it on your calendar. We're here every week at uh, the same time. 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. We're here for an hour or more to share all the lady, latest ladies. We're sharing all the ladies with you. Sharing all the latest digital collectibles. Well, it is the love. You. It's the you know, choose your love. Uh, oh, all the ladies. yeah. By the way, here is the auction is happening, and we want you guys to step up. We have bids right now for the number one mint, 
Uh, $980 is the current um, high bid. And um, number two is $700. There's not yet a bid on number three. 100% of the proceeds after the market fees for these three. Um, th this is all there is of this NFT from M. Blue with his wife reciting the poem that she wrote called Uttermost. There's only three of them. All the proceeds are going to the Haitian charity that M. Blue, um, it, it is his reason for being. It is his purpose is to support this nonprofit charity. And so uh, we're happy to partner with him to make that happen. So I love it. It's like, this is all about love and, and love. And then you're helping Haiti. So it's good. Build a school mm -hmm. in Haiti with these love <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> oh, hey, or earlier you mentioned, uh, before I get to the hero money, that on Valentine's Day, we are dropping a Travis Wright original um, that is love centric. He's come up with something really cool and Nifty Box members are going to receive these drops. I'm not sure about the quantities yet and how we're going to uh, do that. But if you want to show off what you came up with, they're super pretty. Thank you, good sir. All right. Let me pull this here. And go bid on Uttermost, guys. It's all for a good cause. Yeah. Go bid on the Uttermost. The utmost Uttermost. Build your, uh, bid your utmost on Uttermost. Yeah, let's see here. All right. And go milk a cow and play with its udders. Do that. All right. Can you see the screen? Yes. All well, right. It's loading. There it is. Okay. There it is. So this is this is a series all about love as well. So this is Love Africa. Like it's like each one. I think there's gonna be a total of 21 different ones when it's all said and done. I got like of 14 of them are. complete so far. <laughs> this is love. This is love Africa. Love America. Love American style. Got, what, what is this one, Joel? Uh, that is Love Australia. Love Australia. There Mate. we go. Put another prawn on the Barbie. And love China. But it's like, you know what? It's like, what's in China love? I love China. I think Chinese people are great. I'm not a big fan of the CCP, but I'm a big fan of China. I Wait, love Chinese people. I love Chinese food. I thought you would sneak a Winnie the Pooh in there somewhere. Oh, my God. I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and there's a bunch of, there's a different ones. Uh, here is India. Huh? There's Love Japan. So these are all, this is Love uh, Love London. Uh, these are great. People love are going to love seeing these. Love Paris, Love Rome. <laughs> love Tim Zoom. Henry says the Australian heart should have been upside down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We got the Loves to Spain. So it's like sending love out to the world. Love Thailand. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, most crypto or basically nfts is like 90 percent dudes and dudes don't like the traditional love shit right but this is kind of cool it's like hey let's spread love to people in places around the world and we're going to do it for free to those who have the nifty box yeah. well it's not free they paid for a nifty box well they paid for it but this is just a drop we're not charging for this drop yeah, that's we're not right doing a love you're not charged with for packs it. and stuff so so oh my coin says got new zealand and james franklin how about a love ireland uh, maybe <laughs> Top of the morning to you. You can put little leprechauns on there loving each other. Love Ireland. I do love, love Ireland. I'm part of Ireland. Ireland. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching here. It's time for a giveaway. And today, um, you know, we've been giving out uh, Hero, dollar sign Hero. It is the social money for. There may the be a love entire, Portugal. I see that. Is, there may be a love Portugal. For the entire um, Bad Crypto universe, which includes the Bad Crypto podcast, it includes the Nifty Show, it includes Blockchain Heroes. Bitcoin Elite, our telegrams, um, our uh, our podcasts, the things that Travis does, the things that I do, all the things we do are encapsulated and we are going to create application and use utility for the hero social money. But what we want to do right now is give it to you. And the first hundred people to successfully go to this link and claim uh, are going to be able to get 25 hero each. And here's what you got to do. Go to nifty.show forward slash hero it's live right now i'll share the screen of what you will see travis don't claim it you don't get it damn it you're always like in there grabbing our own stuff i do it every time don't do it i'm going to deduct it from your totals so don't do it so you'll see this There's 25 hero and you go right here to claim it you'll need an account on tryroll.com the home for social money and uh, this is our gift to you guys and uh, there's you know, there's there's no particular value ascribed to it at the moment. It will uh, you'll you'll learn more about it in the future. And so uh, 
you know, listen to our other shows because we drop them on Bad Crypto. Um, subscribe to our newsletter on at badcryptopodcast.com. Subscribe to our newsletter at bcheroes.com. Join our telegram, t.me forward slash bcheroes. Uh, you never know where we're going to do a drop. They're, uh, even Travis doesn't know when we're going to do a drop because usually I just create them and say, hey, we're dropping some hero. Keep your hands off of them, dang it. And um, we're going to make it rain hero coins on you guys. There's only 10 million of them ever, not 21, because Travis had no say in it. Um, <laughs> and um, we will find application for it. Mm -hmm. we, we got some big we got some big ideas going around the brain. The trick is to figure out if they're all legal. Right. We want to we want to stay legit. One third of them have been claimed. So I know you guys are working on it right now. And when the, the, the spatch is gone, they're gone. There will be more. But just follow the things that we do in the places that we go. But don't stalk us. And like I'm going out to dinner later. Don't don't you know, I'm not going to give out any hero there. It's going to be on a date. That's not so. heroic. No, I'm, it's going to be very steakish. Mm. We're going to have a, a great dinner tonight. Go out and mm. celebrate some things. So uh, anything else, Sir Lord Travis, your majesty? Man, you know what? As a landowner of Scotland, which makes us both lords of uh, two lords of leaping. Oh, I have uh, to show you something. I have to show you something you haven't seen. Um, okay. I, went on, I went on any task. Oh, okay. Com, and, and I gave them the picture of us that we use often. That's got, you know, we're, it's in Austin where you're, you know, point sitting and I'm sitting on the other side. And I say, hey, illustrate, make, make, you know, like a caricature of each of us. Oh, okay. I, so you want to see you? I guess so. Everybody gets to see it. There you go. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> that's Sir Lord Travis. And uh, this is the caricature that he did of me. I kind of look diabolical. Wow. It's like, like evil Joel. We do both look a little diabolical. You know, what's really funny is like, I, um, I, I'll, I'll actually, I'll show you. So, uh oh, he's going to show us something. One of the time, one of the times that I went to China, been to China twice. And, uh, so they have this really high intricate, uh, uh, paper art that they do, which I think is pretty fantastic. And so I went in, I'm like, Oh, hell yeah. How much is this? Oh, 20 bucks. Yeah. I want one done. And then uh, they they did a version of me. And, and, and you then, said, I won't give you 20 bucks. I'll give you 21. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's Mr. Travis Wright. It's a Travis Wright. Very yeah. nice. You very nice. Very... It's me. It's a Travis Wright. Yeah, you look up very Chinese. I probably look at Chinese. It's like yeah. he doesn't have the American style, so he had to Chinese me up. He Chinese you up. Nifty.show forward slash hero is the place. Get your token from Tri Roll. Thanks, everybody, for watching, for listening. By the way, the Nifty Show is available in podcast version as well, just audio only. So if you want to catch back episodes, you can either go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash bad crypto podcast, or look up the Nifty Show on iTunes, um, on Stitcher, Google Play, a few of the other places, and uh, subscribe there and review us because you can't really review us on, um, on uh, um, YouTube but you can go to iTunes and give us a review and that will bring more exposure to NFT goodness. Um, let's go chiefs and you guys continue being nifty. We'll talk to you soon. And we bid you farewell. Adieu. Oh, you do.